everyone, I'm Maddie from ATAR Wizard and today I'm going to be looking at the VCA Psychology Unit 3, Error of Study 1, dot point number 3. Now, this dot point states synaptic plasticity resulting from long-term potentiation and long-term depression, which together act to modify connections between neurons as the fundamental mechanism of memory function that leads to learning. So... We will be looking at this with reference to the Complete Psychology Units 3 and 4 notes package, which is available via the link in the description. Additionally, you can grab one-on-one -on -one tutoring with me, which you can also book via the link in the description. I look forward to seeing you there. So without further ado, let's get started. So synaptic plasticity. There are two kinds of synaptic plasticity, long-term potentiation and long-term depression. So long-term potentiation is the growth of neural connections over time through sprouting and rerouting. So through long-term potentiation, there are more connections growing. Growing over time. So then long-term depression is the opposite. So the depreciation or lessening of neural connections over time. So there are going to be less, there are, there's going to be a decrease in connections. I don't know what's happening with my handwriting today. So we call these LTD, uh, LTP and LTD, uh, and they're caused by sprouting, rerouting, and pruning in the brain. So sprouting refers to the growth of new neural connections, so completely new um, connections between neurons. Rerouting refers to the formation of new neural connections in order to surpass pathways that might be damaged, broken, or weak. So rerouting is like we are going around a neural pathway which is potentially damaged. Pruning is the loss of a neural pathway, either due to the lack of use or a brain trauma. So if you undergo an accident and end up with brain, tra brain trauma, then pruning may occur. Otherwise, um, it's just the lack of use. So again, when we look at the pruning, we can look at Hebb's rule of neurons that fire together wire together so if they're not why if they're not firing then they're not wiring so they're going to be pruned so the kinds of plasticity we've got a neural plasticity which is the ability of the brain's neural structure to change over the lifespan Developmental plasticity, which is the ability of the brain's neural structure to change during development. So as we're growing up, so it's more like it's what occurs in children as you're learning new experience, you're undergoing new experiences and learning new things. This is all going to be developmental plasticity. And this is due to interactions with the external environment and learning. Whereas adaptive plasticity, again, is closely related to pruning with the ability of the brain's neural structure to change in response to experience so that is it for this dot point quite a short one but there is a lot in there if you need extra help going through it again there is one-on-one -on -one tutoring available via the link in the description now these notes are the complete psychology units three and four notes package so really helpful to go through as you are kind of getting a getting revision or just an even initial exposure to all of this information super super helpful um you can grab all that again via the link in the description next episode and we're going to be looking at internal and external stresses so i look forward to seeing you there bye